Hi, I'm Joe, the inventor of uh, Bad Larry. Bad Larry is a golf swing uh, focus target that enables you to uh, swing the club in any way you can imagine. Um, I use it outside uh, before I uh, call it a day. Usually uh, around 9 or 10 o'clock after uh, the day's done, I'll go out and hit it in the driveway for an hour, and I hit it every which way you can imagine. I've been doing that for 10 months. Um, and I've lost probably about 40 pounds doing that. Um, I do a lot of over-the-head swings, so I'm like, a, I got the club at 12 o'clock, and I bring it around, and I swing it that way. Um, you guys can look at that Craigville Beach uh, one I did last week when I was working down on uh, Craigville Beach in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Um, today I'm going to be doing a half-swing workout, and what I'm trying to do with my invention is I'm trying to do what all athletes try to do. They try to make that spark in their gut make a flame. And when you hit the ball the way it's supposed to be hit perfectly, you'll get your body to make that little flame. Um, I used to do it all the time in boxing. When you hit someone on the chin, you make that flame. When you hit a baseball purely, you hit that uh, flame or you make that flame. When you swing a golf club perfectly, you make that flame. So what I have done over uh, the last nine months is I've actually swung on this every day out my driveway. I um, had a New Year's resolution that I was going to no longer be a crap golfer and I have perfected that um, as far as the swing. Um, I've worked on it every night for about an hour so I'm, I'm probably up over 200,000 swings. Today I'm going to be just doing a half swing drill down here. I'm watching uh, television um, and uh, I'll make it quick. But uh, this is Bad Larry for golf. I also have one for baseball and golf and another one for baseball, golf, and uh, boxing. And I think this would be a great, great um, tool for um, active duty servicemen who can um, you know, practice their golf swings in the barracks um, or right outside the barracks. Um, and not bother anyone because it doesn't make any noise, but when you hit it just right, it makes that little spark in your gut, um, and you know that you're doing everything right. Your mechanics are right, your tempo's right, um, you're making that little turn, and that's, I think, um, what we're all trying to do as athletes. You're trying to make that perfect turn. Um, if, you, if you look at the world we're in, uh, our earth spins, power. Um, you look at uh, storms, they spin. You've got to spin your body in such a way to um, hit that target just right and make that ball go where you want to go. And you do that by practice, practice, practice. And this is great for that. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be swinging down on it and through, and then I'm going to be actually reversing my swing and bringing that back. And I do that all the time. I hit the target, and when I hit the target just right, it's going to let me know what I am doing as far as if I'm pulling the ball or pushing the ball or hitting it just right. And, of course, I just want to hit it perfectly straight. So I'm going to be trying that. Um, I'll, I'll take maybe 10 swings so you guys can get an idea of how I hit it inside half swings. Um, So I, I can I can do little brush swings. I can do bigger turn swings. But what I want to do is I want to try to keep steady and keep down and through, keep focused on that target. I want to try to make that target pop. Just like that. I want to make it make a little clip. Almost like I'm slapping it. You can also do Tai Chi, so you can come slow as you can go. Tai Chi, if you can do it slow, you can do it fast. So I try to think about coiling my lower body, getting into that slot that all the golf pros talk about, and bringing it around, trying to get my body around on it. And then I come back in the same motion. So when I do this outside, I'm doing those 12 o'clock swings all the way around. That is great. But when I get to that target, I've got to get that little around oomph. And this is great for doing that. And I can do that over and over and over again. I can get that great feel from this.
I can do really straight arms. I can do a lot of wristy, wristy stuff. I do this thing with like an old man swing sometimes when I'm outside. I can't do it now because I don't have the height, but then I bring it around. Every conceivable way you can think about swinging a golf club, you can do on this. And I never think about, I'm in a golf league and my golf game is off the chest now because, since I started hitting this, but I'm not thinking about a golf ball. I'm looking at this as a golf workout. I don't care if I hit this for 10 minutes or a half hour or five minutes. If I come to this once a day, I am guaranteed that I am going to eventually figure out the golf swing. And I think I have in 10 months figured it out to do what I need to do. Now, obviously when you're out in the golf course, it's a whole different game because you might be on a down slope or an up slope. You might be in the woods. But the golf game is played best if you know how to swing a golf club the right way and get the most out of it. And, and the right way is to hit the ball purely. And the easiest way to do that is swing the club a lot. Also, too, I can practice getting down. I can practice my uh, posture. If I want to get down low, I can practice that. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to master swinging the golf club in any way possible it can be swung. And I want to come down on that target and hit it as purely as I feel it needs to be hit. And if you do that enough, you're going to teach yourself the right way to hit that ball and what is best for you to do it. I could tell you or someone on TV can tell you how they think it should be done, but until you actually do it, you'll never, ever, ever be able to do it. You just need to put in the reps. You need to put in the time. And this is great to do for doing that. I mean, I can hang this from the ceiling and get a boxing workout with it at like 5 o'clock in the morning and I won't bother anybody around me. I can uh, set this up and I've done that for, for baseball. I can get a great baseball workout from both sides swinging a baseball bat. Now, if you want to be a good baseball player, you've got to swing a baseball bat all the time. Because the number one thing in baseball is batting. And Pete, this is going to be great for you too down at the Cape, because you've got a living room that's got a higher ceiling. So you can do fuller swings. Now down here, I'm, I'm get it. I can get a good little workout doing half swings or little three quarter swings. A lot of the time, what I've been working on is gravity swings. So I'm letting the the club come down, and then I'm using my body to turn. I practice that a lot, just trying to do gravity swings. Especially when I do the 12 o'clock swings. So anyway, that's one small workout using this inside. Um, and repeat my swing over and over and over again. Doing the reps, that's the only way that you can get good at anything. I promise you, if you do the reps, you will either get big biceps, or you will lose the weight, or and you will get better at whatever you're trying to get better at. To the next one, take care. This is Joe. Practice.